in the heart of Islington lies a remarkable building. This place is a church, but it's a church like no other in town because this place has a double life. This is the Union Chapel, and amongst other things, it's an award-winning music venue, and it's widely regarded as one of the best in town. So tell me a bit about this extraordinary place. This is the third building on this site. The building we're actually in now was built in 1879. By 1980, the building was not only in a terrible state of repair, but people despaired of it. A decision was taken in 1984 to demolish it. A, a program of change and repair and development was initiated. Various groups got together to try to reuse the building in a new way. Can you tell me what happens in the building these days? All the activities which um, started in the building in the 1870s carry on now. Then um, the church fed people and looked after homeless people, and it still does. That's called margins. It offers a wide service to people who are disadvantaged. Half a dozen volunteers look after them. Specialists come to offer them counselling and to overcome problems they have with drink or drugs. Now, um, the Sunday school is called the Studio Theatre, and we use that for rehearsals. And all the current West End productions, Dirty Dancing and uh, several others, have been rehearsed there in the last couple of years. Um, I've, I've been to a few gigs here, and there's an extraordinary sensation of, of, um, sort of poise, and there's an incredible ambience here, isn't there? Yes. I, it's difficult to explain why that is, but it's something to do with having um, a centralised space. It's not a long, thin cathedral. Um, it's, it's a hall. That's right, it's um, almost in the round, isn't it? It's quite unusual yes, for a church. It is, very unusual. And it's that that gives it the atmosphere. And also, um, the acoustics are wonderful. And this place has hosted some pretty big concerts as well, hasn't it? Yes, in the last year we've had Noel Gallagher, um, David Byrne and Bjork, um, and in the past, smaller groups. Uh, of modern musicians. We've had uh, the Arditi String Quartet and Kronos. And we've had choirs, the Bach Choir and the Haydn Choir, which is in the great tradition of chapels. So what sort of challenges do, do you face as an organisation? We need to repair the stonework. Um, we need to repair the brickwork, which is crumbling away. Mm -hmm. And we need um, a ramped access into the building. Parts of the building get worn away as gear is brought in and out and as people come and go. The gratings here are broken and need to be reinforced. The brickwork gets dirty. We need to coat it so that it won't get dirty quite so quickly. Now we need to spend half a million on the tower. The stonework of the tower is gradually eroding away. We're intent on repairing this stone and preserving it. It's really a great symbol for Islington, it's a great symbol for London. So what sort of money are you looking to raise? We need to spend half a million pounds on the tower alone. And then beyond that, we need to spend about two million on improving the facilities and all the things which go with a modern venue. So what's the best way of contributing to the, to the chapel? Well, the best way is firstly to join in and come here and help. The, the second way is with money. Um, you can contribute through the, the website uh, where you can download um, a form uh, to make a contribution. You can make a standing order or a single donation to the High Point Appeal or to the Tower Appeal. You can contribute uh, for the revenue activities for homelessness, uh, for the margins um, and for um, the arts program um, by the same means. Uh, you'll find that information on our website. And you can contribute by sending uh, to the vestry, Union Chapel, Islington, London, 
north 1 to XD. And I guess another good way is just to, um, to find out what gigs are going on and pay your money come and, and, and come to a gig. Come and buy a ticket, yes. We want the building to be used. People enjoy it. We want more people to enjoy it. And we want to find ways of making that happen.